Hey YouTube, what's up? This is your man Ray Maple. And this is an informational video to show you how to install a 5000 Spy 5000M alarm system on a GL1800 Goldwing. This is how I installed the alarm system. What comes with the kit is two key fobs, the alarm system brain, the wiring harness kit, the microwave sensor, and the wiring harness for the microwave sensor plug and play into the brain. I like this alarm so much I bought, a, bought another one to install on my other bikes. I'm going to buy three more to install on my turbo bike, my turbo booster, on my two different GSXR 1000s, and my Suzuki Bergman over here. Let's get started. I mounted my brain in the trunk of the bike right here wires go through the back seat you did need this but I done did all the hard work already that's the OEM service manual that Honda uses let's take the seat out Okay, these two yellow wires right here go to your turn signals. My my bike has a karaoke and wiring harness that this brake light right here is also a brake light, a running light, and a turn signal. So I ran my yellow wires up through the back of the seat and tied into here for the turn signals. Now the blue wire which is your trigger wire to start the bike if you want to remotely start it. There are two solenoids in here. One is a start solenoid, one is a reverse solenoid. Right in here. You have to get the plug that is this one right here. That is the red plug. That's the start solenoid and it's tied into the yellow wire with the red tracer that's what starts the bike if you want to remotely start it that has no purpose the only reason why I put it on there is for a ooh ah moment when you go to bike night or something like that you can remotely start the bike you have a red wire and you have a black wire the red wire ties into the positive of the battery. The black wire t ties into the negative of the battery. Let me plug this back in. Because this goes to my battery when I want to put my trickle charge on. Your brown wire ties into I tied it into one of the relays right here. As you can see, the brown wire is tied into the relay. This must be hooked up. The brown wire must be hooked up with switch power. Because if you disarm your alarm with the key fob, after 30 seconds later, once you leave, your alarm will start going off. This wire has to be hooked up to switch power since power back to the brain to let the brain know that the bike has power to it. So you must hook this up. On this side over here, we lengthen the wires. We lengthen these wires right here for the um, siren. I'd use um, power grip pedal tape and mounted it to the bottom right here of the fuel tank. 
Then I ran my microwave sensor out the back from the, from the brain and I mounted it right here. This sends us uh, a beam out. When the beam is broken, the alarm system goes off. This is why I like this alarm system because you don't have to touch the bike in order for the alarm system to go off. Oh, you must remember if you want your bike to start with the remote with the fobs it's not needed but I just like I said I just did it for a ooh ah moment it has to tie into the first solenoid the second solenoid is a reverse solenoid and the start solenoid has the red plug in it remember it has the red plug with the green wire with the red tracer and it has yellow wire with the red tracer. You must tie into the red plug. Or it's not going to work to start the bike. The pink and the gray wire ties into the ignition. That's the ignition kill. I haven't hooked it up yet because I want to make sure if I have to cut my ignition wires that it's going to work because I don't feel like cutting the wires and then have to solder them back together and heat shrink them back down. So once I figure that out through my Honda repair manual, I got to look at the schematics and trace it down. Once I find that out, I'll hook those two wires up. This is how the alarm system works. these back on so I don't get them scratched no key in the ignition your key fob right here the bottom button is your arm button the top one up here is your disarm button the second one you hit it two times it'll start the bike and the bottom one down here is your panic or if you're looking for your bike in a mall parking lot you can't find it you hit this your bike your alarm goes off that's the bottom button. Hit it again, it turns it off. The middle button, which is this lightning bolt right here. You hit it once, the bike comes on. Hit it again. Hit it once, it'll start up. On here shows a puff of smoke coming out the tailpipe, let you know that the bike is running. If you want to shut the bike down, you hit the top button to unarm it, it shuts it down. Now, this bottom button with the lock on it, you hit that once, it arms the bike. The alarm has shock sensor on it, so if you hit it, the alarm goes off for a few seconds, then it stops. If you come back to it again, that, that's the that's the um the sensor, the microwave sensor. Let's turn it off and start all over again. Let's arm it. Okay, now let's check the shock sensor. Alarm goes off. Now if you come back in again, you hit it again, you'll see it on there, it's a hammer strike in the tank. Come back and hit it again, the alarm should just go off and stay going off. Until you turn it off. Okay, it's off. Now, we're going to check the microwave sensor on it. You arm the alarm. You got to wait 30 seconds for the microwave sensor to read. Then you won't be able to come close to the bike. 
I think the microwave sensor could be set a little bit more sensitive. I got it set to the max right now. But if you come in, you don't have to touch the bike in order for the alarm to go off with the microwave sensor set on it. Walk in. Takes a while for it to do it. There it is. Never touch the bike. The alarm system goes off. On here to show you like a little blinking in the headlight with the little strobe on the bottom. That's your microwave sensor right there. Let you know that the microwave sensor went off. So we're going to disarm it. And we're going to arm it. Hit it once. Hit it twice. Now the horn, the, the siren is not going to work. This is just for your key fob. If the bike's been tampered with, only your key fob is going to let you know that somebody is has been tampering with the bike. This here is for, say, if you're in a somewhere and you don't want the alarm to go off and you just wanted to page you that somebody was tampering with the bike, this is what it'll do. You hit it once, alarm's going off, it'll show you somebody's hitting on a tank and, and the key fob will vibrate. Now if you hit it again, lights are going to flash, bike is quiet, key fob started vibrating to let you know that somebody was tampering with the bike. That's the silent mode part of the alarm. Now we're going to turn it off. Okay, now this pager right here, I have checked this pager up to four blocks. I can control this bike from four blocks away with this pager. This is another reason why I like this alarm. They say it's almost two miles, but I haven't checked it out for two miles yet. And then a refresher on it. Your top button is your disarm. Your bottom button, you hit this twice, it starts the bike. Hit it once, hit it again, bike starts up has no bearings on the alarm system it's just something that I wanted to install on the bike because I like the feature that it has I probably would you wasn't wouldn't use it much but I just wanted to hook it up because it was there you hit the top on the fob unlock it, it shuts the bike down the very bottom button on your key fob right here is your panic alarm if you're looking for your bike Alarm goes off, light starts flashing, it makes it easier to find your bike if you're in a mall parking lot, if you forgot where you parked it at. Hit it again, it turns it off. Now we hit the bottom. The alarm system is armed right now with sound on. So we hit it again shock sensor went off it'll stay on for about 15 seconds or so let people know that the alarm system is on the bike then it'll stop That was the all-out alarm part right there. Let's arm it again. Let's hit it now. We should arm and then stop. There it is, it just stopped. Now we come out again, hit it again. The alarm is gonna go all out bore alarm mode. There it is. Let's turn it off. Now let's arm it and check the microwave sensor again. This is the one where the beam has to be broken where you can't physically touch the bike. You can touch it, but it lets it, the alarm goes off before you can touch the bike. All you have to do is wave your hand in front of the seat area and the alarm will go off. The main feature that I really like on this alarm is the microwave sensor. There it is. Now it'll blink for 15 sec, 5 seconds, then it'll stop. 
let you know the microwave is going went off then you come back in takes a minute for this to happen now that's all out alarm mode right there and then we turn it off this key fob always also keeps the time on it so you can set it for the time you can set it to turn the microwave sensor off but I would never set it off because I don't when I got the alarm on I really don't want nobody to mess with the bike one another cool features about it, you can turn the microwave sensor off so you would have to shock the bike in order for it the alarm system to go off it has a blue that's automatic arming right there if I forget to turn the alarm off on the bike or turn it on the alarm will turn itself on and as you can see it's got the lock button if you come into it now hit it the alarm is going to go off if you want to turn off the automatic arming on the bike you hit the top unlock button two times now the alarm will not come on until you arm it this is where I put my little blue light right here I thought it was in a nice cool spot right there didn't have to run the wires all the way up front and you know that this bike has an alarm system on it if anybody needs any help you know with their alarm system on their gold wing just give me a call or email through YouTube and if I can answer your question I will this is a preview of the Spy 5000M motorcycle alarm system. I hope you enjoyed my video and hope it was helpful for you. That concludes the video and don't remember, go Bills!